same it, same it, same it. Walk in faith, walk in faith, walk in faith, walk in faith. I got it, ish, I got it, ish, I got it, ish. Murillo, 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 same it, same it. We praise Jehovah God. We praise him because he's Adonai, the Lord God. He's Yahweh, the God. He's El Shaddai, the God Almighty. He's El Elohim, the God who sees. He's El Him, the Father God. He's a jealousy God. He's a consuming fire. He's Yahweh Shalom, the God of peace. He's the Adonai, the Adonai, the Adonai, the El Elyon, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. He's the perfecter of our faith. He's the perfecter of our peace. Today, he has brought you the peace. He is the God of 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 peace. He is Yahweh Shalom. He is the God of peace. He is Yahweh Shalom. He is the God of peace. He is Yahweh Shalom. He is the God of peace. He is Yahweh Shalom. He is the God of peace. He is Yahweh Shalom. Judges 6. And you read on 23. But the Lord God said to him, Who is Gideon? The mighty man of war. The Lord God said to Gideon, He says, Peace! He said, Peace! Do not be afraid. Peace! Do not be afraid. You are not going to die. So Gideon built an altar of the Lord there and called it the Lord of Peace. 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 Jesus is the Lord of Peace. Jesus is the Lord of Peace. He has brought you the peace. He has brought you and I the peace. Jesus is the Lord of Peace. He has brought you and I the peace. He's the God of Peace. He's Jehovah Shalom. He's the God of Peace. He's Jehovah Shalom. Whatever you may be going through, remember, the only source of peace is Jesus. He's Yahweh Shalom, the God of peace. He's Yahweh Shalom, the God of peace. You're not going to die. He's a Yahweh. He's Yahweh Shalom, the God of peace. He's Yahweh Shalom, the God of peace. Gideon built an altar there and called it the Lord of peace. My message to you today is that the Lord of peace is here to give you peace. In the book of John 14 and 27, he says, Peace! I live with you. Peace he has left with us. He came all the way here because there was a thief. There was a thief who came to kill, steal, and destroy. But the Lord God, he says, I have come, I have come, that you may have light and have it abundantly. You may have light and have it abundantly. And now he's saying in the book of John 14 and 27, he says, Peace I live with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your heart be troubled and do not be afraid. My sister, my brother, uh, let's not be afraid. The peace that the Lord God gives us is not according to the world. The world peace is temporary. But we have the peacemaker. We have the Lord of peace. The peacemaker, we have the Lord of peace. The peacemaker, we have the Lord of peace. We have the Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Rapha. We have the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We have the Adonai. We have the Lord God. We have the Yahweh. We have the El Shaddai. We have the God Almighty, the Eloi, the God, the Elohim, the Jealousy God, the Yahweh Shalom, the God of peace, the God of peace. And he's saying, Peace, I live with you. 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 My peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your heart be troubled. Do not be afraid. That is why in the book of John 14 and 1, it says, Do not let your heart be troubled. You believe in God. Believe in me as well. Do not let your heart be troubled. Don't believe in anything else. My brother and my sister, let us not put faith in something that changes. Your friends may change. Even your family may turn against you. Even your children may turn against you. 
Even the money may end. You may have money today and tomorrow you don't have money. Circumstances may change. Weather may change. Countries may change. Presidents may change. People may die. But the Lord God is saying, Everything shall pass away, but not even a stroke. For my word will pass away. Not even a stroke. For my word will pass away. Even the sun will pass away, but not even a stroke. For my word will pass away. So if you have to have faith, have faith in something that doesn't change. If you have faith in things that change, then you are bound not to have peace. That is why he's saying, Peace I give you. My peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your heart be troubled. Do not let your heart be troubled. The peace that I give to you, I do not give like the world gives. If you look at the book of John 10.10, 10, the thief, he pretends as if he gives you the peace. The devil doesn't give you the peace. The devil doesn't give us the peace. That is why in the book of John 10, 10, he says, The thief comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. But I have come that you may have life and have it abundantly. I have come that you have life and have it abundantly. Remember, the struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against authorities, against powers in dark world, against spiritual forces in heavenly realm. It's not against flesh and blood. Do not put faith in anything else. Put faith in Jesus Christ. Who is the Alpha and the Omega? Who is the Adonai? Who is the Aurelion? Who was who was who will always be there? He will never pass away. And he's saying, My way who will never pass away. Put your faith in the Lord. Put your faith in his word. Put your faith in his promises. What are his promises? I know the plans I have for you. I know the plans I have for you. Plans to prosper you. Plans to heal you. Plans to give you hope. Hope for the future. And he says, he says, he says, you shall leave. You shall leave. And your generations shall be many. You shall inherit the land. Wherever you go, you shall inherit the land. You shall inherit the land. You shall not be the tail, but you shall be the head. Put your faith in those words. Put your faith in those words. Put your faith in those words. And the Lord God is saying, I give you my peace. Not according to these things. According to these, uh, uh, this flesh. According to these uh, authorities. According to these powers in the dark world. According to these spiritual forces. He says, I give you the peace. And like the way the world gives you the peace. I give you the peace. Do not let your heart be troubled, my sister. Do not let your heart be troubled. My brother, do not let your heart, let your heart be troubled. Jehovah God, I thank you for this message today. That we shall not let our hearts be troubled for nothing. Because you have given us the peace. You have given us the peace. You've given us the peace the way you gave uh, the way you gave uh, Gideon, the mighty man of war, the way you gave David when he will come the ark in his house. You gave him the peace. The peace that comes from you, it transcends all understanding. We thank you for you are the Alpha and the Omega. You are the beginning and the end. You are the Adonai. I thank you, my Father God, that you're going to protect us from the thief who come to kill, kill, uh, kill, steal, and destroy. Because you have come to give Give us life and give us life so we can have it abundantly and you say peace be with you peace be with us i thank you for the god for the peace that will settle in the heart of this my sister who settle in the heart of this my brother because your jehovah nisi your jehovah rafa your jehovah nisi your jehovah rafa i thank you for the god in the book of first thessalonians 5 and 10 you say this is why you must encourage one another we must encourage one another like we are already doing we must encourage one another father god bring the peace among us the people no one can be peaceful if the other person is not peaceful. Bring the peace among us, the friend of Christ. Let the peace settle in our lives today. Let the peace, let the peace of heart settle. Let the peace of heart settle in our lives today. Let the peace of heart settle in our lives today. I thank you, Father God. In the book of John 16 and 33, you said, These things I have spoken to you so that in me, you may have peace. 
In me, we may have peace in you, my Father God. In you, today, we have peace. In you, today, we have peace. By the blood, we have peace. By the cross, we have peace. By the Holy Spirit and the fire, fill our hearts with peace. Fill our hearts with peace. Fill our hearts with peace. Let the peace touch. Let the peace touch the person that is listening right now. The person may be low because the devil is creating illusions. But let the peace touch us. Touch their legs. Touch their minds. Touch their hearts. Touch their body. Evict anything that belongs to the devil. Using the blood of the God, the blood of the son, Jesus Christ, the Son and the living God, I point on the person that is listening right now to expel any demonic forces, any false powers that is causing uh, tensions in their head. Let the peace. Father God, the devil is fond of using other people to destabilize the peace for your children so they don't worship you in peace. But my Father God, you said, Peace I live with you. Peace I live with you. Give us the peace, not like the world gives. Give us the peace, my Father God. Because you are saying, you say that in everything, by prayer, petition, by prayer, petition, by prayer, petition, by prayer, petition, and thanksgiving, we need to cast all our fears to you. Today, we cast all our fears to you. Today, we cast all our problems to you. Today, we cast all our tensions to you. Today, we cast all our troubles to you. And you have promised us, and the peace of God will transcend all understanding who guard our hearts who guard our mind in Christ Jesus. Let the peace that transcends all understanding guard our hearts, guard our minds in Christ Jesus. Let the person receive the uh, peace in their hearts. Let them receive the peace in their minds. Angels, go, go and remove anything that is creating tensions in the mind of the person that is listening right now. Remove, remove the spirit of confusion. Remove the spirit of tension. In fact, remove the people around them that are disturbing the peace. Because you say, peace, I live with you. Peace, I live with you. Let the peace be in our hearts. Let the peace be in our hearts. Let the peace be in our hearts. We thank you, Jehovah God, for in the book of 2 Corinthians 1 and 3, we praise you, my God. We praise you, my God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion, the God of all comfort, who comforts us in our troubles. We praise you, my God. We praise you, my God, because you are the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all trouble who comforts us in all trouble because you said there may be troubles in this world but take heart for i have conquered the world take heart for i have conquered the world take heart for i have conquered the world let there be peace in the hearts of a person that is listening right now let the peace reign let the peace reign let the peace reign in their hearts by the blood of jesus by the blood of jesus christ the son and the living God. Burn any negativity. Destroy it. Destroy the devil that is causing lack of peace. Destroy it. Let there be happiness. Let there be happiness. Let them look at you, Jesus, for what you've done for them. Because uh, many people don't have breath in their bodies. Today, the person listening has a breath. Many people are lacking shelter. Today, the person listening to this has shelter. Many people don't have food. The person that is listening has food. Many people don't even have vehicles. The person listening has vehicles. Let them remember of all the goodness that you're doing for them. Let them find peace. Peace in you. Because you said, peace I live in you. And my Father God, the reason you're giving us the peace, he says, so that we can comfort those in trouble with the comfort we ourselves have received from you. My Father God, give us the comfort so we can go, we can go, we can go like you told Paul. You can go like we told Paul to be, to be your messenger in the book of Acts 23, 11. Paul said, the following night, 
The Lord stood by him and said, Father God, stand by us tonight. Stand by us like you stood by Paul. Stand by us tonight. And you said to Paul, you said, Have courage, Paul. Have courage, my sister. Have courage, my brother. For as you have testified about me here today, so it is necessary for you to testify in Rome, to testify in Africa, to testify in Asia, to testify in America, to testify in Oceania, everywhere. Have courage, but you cannot testify without the peace. Fill your heart. Peace, receive the peace. Peace, receive the peace. So you can comfort those who are in trouble with the same comfort that were received from the Alpha and the Omega who said, receive the peace, 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 receive the peace. Peace, I live with you. Peace, I live with you. I have come that you may have life and have it abundantly. I have come that you may have life, have it abundantly. I have come that you may have life and have it abundantly. Father God, we thank you. Like you talked to uh, uh, Paul when you were sending him out to Rome, when you were sending him out to Italy, when you are sending him out everywhere to speak to the Gentiles, you are sending us today. You are saying there may be a little trouble, like Paul, Paul's ship sank. There may be trouble, a little trouble, my sister, my brother. But remember, the Lord God, he has conquered the world. The Lord God has conquered the world. My Father God, you have conquered the world by your blood, by the blood of Jesus Christ, the Son and the living God. By the blood of Jesus Christ, the Son and the living God. By the blood of Emmanuel, by the blood of the Adonai, by the blood of Elohim, the Elohim, the God, the Jehovah Shalom, the God of Gideon, the God of peace. You told Paul, you said, nevertheless, the ship may run to the ground. For you said in the book of Acts 27 and 23, he says, For last night, an angel of God, who I belong to, whom I save, stood by me, Michael, Michael, tonight, using the name of Jesus, I command you after this message, to go and stand beside my sister and my brother and me tonight. Stand like Paul is saying. For last night an angel of God. Who I belong to. Whom I save. Stand stood behind beside me. And said do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. You may stand trial before Kaiser or Caesar. But God has graciously given you the lives of all who sail with you wherever you are wherever you are my sister my brother god has given you has given you the lives of your children has given you the lives of your family has given you the lives of your friends you need to share the peace you need to share the peace and the angel of god is saying to you today he said do not be afraid. You must stand trial before all these things. There may be trials and tribulations. You must stand trial. There may be trials and tribulations. But remember, I have conquered the world. Remember, I have conquered the world. You must stand trials. There may be trials with uh, maybe your job. There may be trials with uh, maybe the sniffles, uh, with the cough. There may be trials. But remember, remember, he has conquered the world. 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 Peace in your heart. Peace, I live with you. Peace, I live with you. Do not be troubled. And the angel says, stop being afraid, my sister. Stop being afraid of things that are not permanent. Stop, stop being afraid of things that are not permanent. Stop being afraid of, of losing money. Stop being afraid of losing a boyfriend or a husband. Stop being afraid of losing a job. Stop being afraid. Focus all your eyes on Jesus. What is the promise of God? I know the plan that I have for you. Stop being afraid. 
and what is the promise of God. I know the plans that I have for you. Plans to heal you. You may be sick right now. Stop being afraid. Stop paying attention. Don't let the devil keep you preoccupied. Stop being afraid. Focus on Jesus. Stop being afraid. You must stand trial before Kaiser. And behold, and behold, and behold, and behold. Stop being afraid. 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 And behold, God has given you the lives of all who are sailing with you. So take courage. So be courageous. So be courageous. So be courageous. For I that am talking to you today, I believe in God. It will just be as he has said today. It will just be as he has said today. Like in the book of George 16 to 38, it says, These things are spoken to you, so that in me you may have peace. In the world you have tribulations, but take courage, for I have overcome the world. 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 Take courage, I have overcome the world. And in the book of John 20 and 21, it says, Again, Jesus said it again. Peace be with you. 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 As the Father has sent me, I'm sending you. As the Father has sent me, I'm sending you. Go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And the Lord Jesus Christ, and he says, with that, he breathed on them and says, Receive the Spirit. Receive the Spirit. He says, Receive the Spirit. Peace be with you. My Jehovah Nissim, Jehovah Rapha, you're the Elohim. You're the Alpha and the Omega. You're the beginning and the end. You're the God of peace. You're the God of Gideon. You're the God of peace. You're the peacemaker. You're the peacemaker. You're the God of Gideon. You're the peacemaker. You're the God of peace. You're Jehovah Nissi. You're Jehovah Rapha. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. He's Jehovah Nissi. Jehovah Rapha. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you.